And today I wanted to show you how betaine, which is also known as trimethylglycine, or TMG, protects the brain. Because betaine is well known for metabolizing the problematic amino acid compound homocysteine, and because alcohol, smoking, physical inactivity, and aging can all contribute to homocysteine accumulation, it's important to begin by examining homocysteine's damaging effect on the brain. Homocysteine forms from the metabolism of methionine to cysteine, and excessive homocysteine is toxic to brain neurons. Elevated homocysteine levels increase the risk of both vascular disease and Alzheimer's, specifically by increasing the proliferation of both tau proteins and the equally disastrous amyloid beta plaque. While homocysteine normally participates in the brain's transmethylation reactions, which recycle the amino acid methionine, while also generating the methyl donor S adenosyl methionine, or SAM E, excess homocysteine can lead to both neuroinflammation, neurodegeneration, and even the development of toxic byproducts like homocysteine thiolactone, which contributes to neurological and cardiovascular damage, autoimmune conditions, and even cancer. Elevated homocysteine promotes blood coagulation, C-reactive protein production, and constant microglial activation. And all of this leads to, first, a sustained pro-inflammatory environment where blood clots can easily happen, and then eventually, brain cell damage. Betaine is a critical methyl donor that restores proper methionine homeostasis in cells. Betaine is also endogenously produced from the metabolism of dietary choline, and in foods, betaine is found mostly in wheat germ, spinach, and most famously, beetroot. Betaine can also increase both carnitine and also carnitine metabolites, like the brain-specific acetyl-L-carnitine, that itself contributes to increasing acetylcholine, a critical neurotransmitter so vital for learning and memory. In addition to betaine, the three primary nutrients that convert homocysteine back into methionine are vitamins B6, B12, and folate, so a daily B-complex, and ideally a coenzymated B-complex, that gives you the most active forms of all the B vitamins is an easy way to maintain healthy homocysteine levels on a daily basis. Those of you who follow me should recognize these three specific B vitamins as the same trifecta that also, along with glycine and sulfur, converts L-cysteine into our master antioxidant, glutathione. As a supplement, you'll find betaine as either TMG and or anhydrous betaine, and a typical dose is around 500 to 1,000 milligrams. The only major caution with taking betaine regularly is that betaine can increase total cholesterol over time, so an easy fix for this is to pair your betaine with some flushing niacin, which is also known as vitamin B3, or nicotinic acid, because niacin significantly elevates the protective and beneficial HDL cholesterol, while decimating both the problematic LDL cholesterol and also triglycerides. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.